right now the four o'clock hour. It's four o'clock, right? Four o'clock, and it's still snowing out there hard. And welcome to Give to the Max. Uh, we are really humming along here, and our guest today is Jim from Volts. Jim, come on over, take a seat here. I'm going to do a little talking first, and just let them know that we are thirty-five dollars away from our three thousand dollars. Thirty-five dollars. What did you say? Thirty-five dollars. That's all. Thirty-five dollars. We can do that, can't we? Come on, gang. I think we should. It's probably handled right now. Don't you think? Yeah, do it. How much? Thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five. Volts will ship in two hundred, so we were over. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's a chip off the old block. <laughs> Everybody needs to up it from there. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm liking this guy more and more. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta tell you, um, you know, I was telling Jim about our struggles today. And I said, you know, it's kind of like PTC. <laughs> I said, between him and I, and uh, Steve, I, we could tell you great stories about the uh, the fear of unplugging a camera here. <laughs> I mean, every time I call Jim and I say, Jim, this ain't working or that ain't working, he comes in and he's pale. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're not wrong. It's... It's very touchy, very touchy. We're, we're going to make it better over over time. It'll get better. We're going to do it one wire at a time, and there's 10,000 of them. <laughs> there is. I've never seen so many wires going from front to back, sideways, up and down, and stuff put about anywhere that you could ever imagine. No, no, do I cut the blue one? The blue one? The blue one? The blue one, or? The blue one. The blue one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, all kidding aside, you guys have been really patient out there with us. Um, Jim did find that awesome uh, camera for us that we got working now, the PTZ. And that thing really gives a picture, doesn't it? Why don't you talk about that just for a few minutes? Can you do that? Sure, sure. It's, yeah, it's it's a, uh, a hike vision. I'm not going to get too detailed with it, but it's a, it's a big egg dome security camera that zooms in it's 30 times the zoom and uh, the HD picture is just wonderful on it um, you know I know there's some things that we want to improve you know with controls and things of that nature but um, the picture is just wonderful so is, I, I don't is. know what more to, to say about it it's a uh, in comparison you know typically with technology they make things smaller but this this PTZ camera is probably four times bigger than the the previous one, so that kind of gives you an idea of of all the, the the technology crammed into it. So, so, so just out of curiosity, uh, looking at the first day that you came to the North American Bear Center, and I told you, I said, Jim, we really, really, and this ain't on your shoulders, so you understand, but I said, Jim. The one thing I want to do is get this camera and the system down so that you can have it nice and everything can be easy and smooth and we can have it nice and smooth and nothing goes down. And even if we got to replace everything, I said, let's just get it done. And I think at that time, oh, we got an update. We got a break in. We got a break in update. Sorry, but we, this is big. It's big? We got the $35. What? That means we met our 3000 Yes, I have it confirmed. We met our $3,000? Yep. I sure hope there's somebody else out there that's willing to do a match for us because this works out good. You know, um, another $3,000 match would be nice or whatever kind of match you can put in. We sure would like it. We're here till midnight, so please do that. Uh, thank you so much out there for getting that $35 in. We made it. Great job. Kick butt. We did good, didn't we? We made it. Yes, you made it. It's hard for Jim to talk loud. He's actually a soft-spoken guy, and it, so he's gonna. It's hard, you know. They do. Yes, they do. They want to hear from. Jim, I've always had the other problems, so it's okay. You know, <laughs> but uh, you know, just getting just getting back to the the PTZ itself and uh, some of the things that you were, you've been up against since uh, you and I have met in the last year and a half or so. Um, been challenges, have they not? Oh, I mean, definitely. I mean, there's um, it, it's 
it's a difficult thing to explain. There's a lot of a lot of moving parts with cameras. You've got you know the camera itself, the wire to the internet, the internet to the the video display and audio. I mean, there's so many moving parts that all it takes is is one nut to fall off, and the whole thing just causes <laughs> causes some grief. But you know, I mean, we're we're working to 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 streamline it and make it make it so that uh, you know the Bear Center has more control over the cameras, and then that's that's the key. So so Scott can say, hey, I want you know Lucky's den cam showing right now. So I mean, it, if we can do that, so that it's it's a quick switch, uh, you guys out there are gonna you know it's gonna help your guys' viewing, uh, you know, the viewership of of the cams. So, I mean, that, that's our that's our goal. Yeah, we, goal. Um, to get there, it's, it's, it just takes time because, there's, like I say, there's a lot of moving parts and we can only do one thing at a time. So. And, you know, at the same time, it, it takes money and uh, with a lot of the donations that you guys have made, again, it has helped us out in that area. It really has. I mean, we have had different fundraisers to help get uh, different equipment for that area, and we're always upgrading it right now. We've even got three brand new HD, um, all, what do you call it, um, bullet cams that are um, have night vision, and we think the night vision will work better than the ones that we got right now, which really don't have much of a night vision at all. But moving onward, uh, I want to talk about uh, something that you were instrumental in developing with a fair amount of people, in fact, a lot of people out there, and that's the touch screens for the Ecology Hall. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we, we, the, the Bear Center rolled out the, the touch screen kiosk uh, this, this last spring. Um, the, the reviews I've heard have been fantastic. I know there's um, been some little quirky things with them, but overall, um, I, think, I think the response has been well. Yes, it so, has. Yes, it has. Um, you know, it was... It was a fun project. I know there's there's some extra phases, additional phases coming down the the road at some point in time, which will just add more content to it and and make it even better. Yeah, that's great, and it's great to hear because uh, when you look at the touchscreens themselves, and that um, we haven't had any really uh, mechanical issues with it once we got the the few tweaks out of it in a, within a couple of weeks. And what I mean that mean is it doesn't go down, it stays up all the time, it, it, it works. We shut it off, turn it back on, and bang, up it comes. It automatically goes to the home screen, uh, the touch screen. So those things are working nice. In anything that you get like that, I, I don't think I've ever been in a perfect world where it works to the T uh, perfect throughout, you know. But uh, I, I'd say it's 99% close. Uh, maybe I'm a little exaggerative there, it could be 98 or whatever it may be. But uh, we have uh, seen that blossom with the Ecology Hall. And Jim, part of the, uh, in fact, a huge part of the donations for the Ecology Hall came from you guys out there. And uh, without them, we wouldn't be sitting here today in this room. And uh, of course, a couple other, uh, you know, major donors helped us out too. And uh, you know who you are out there, and we thank you immensely. But I got to tell you something. Right now, we're sitting in something that was not. It was a cement building with nothing in it last year. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, it's and it, it's it's a wonderful. I mean, it's beautiful in here. So. Yeah. And uh, I mean, uh, you know, having the addition of everything that we've got going, and you getting used to our systems here, actually, uh, you've been learning the, the whole entire building from infancy. And that is a, a good, I think it's a good way for me to put it, from infancy, you've had to go from cradle to crib. And uh, I don't think we're at the crib yet with all the electronics that are throughout this place. But i got to give you a, uh, another little fun story. I think I may have told it a little earlier. If you don't mind me telling the story, you can add to it. Okay. Yesterday I went to test the, uh, the sound uh, in the system, and I thought, you know, the one thing I wasn't really worried about is, and, and, and I don't know why, but I felt so confident in the fact that we were going to have sound because last, it'd be uh, a week ago Wednesday, we had a live broadcast with you guys out there, and we were outside, uh, right by the pond, and everything was working wonderful, and all that I did is go back in and shut the switch off. No problem. I shut a switch off. Okay? Yesterday, I thought, you know, it's about, what, 8.30, 8.45, I thought, 
I better test this system just to make sure it's working right. I'd already gotten a, a text uh, after I had already thought that, saying, you know, we might want to test the sound. Um, turn it on, start to broadcast it. I got this sick look. There ain't nothing coming across. I'm like, what? There ain't nothing coming across. First thing I do is pull out my phone. Dial the fire department. And that's J-I-M. <laughs> and I said, Jim, I have no sound. What do you mean you got no sound? <laughs> I said, I've got no sound. I said, you need to get over here. I got no sound. <laughs> He's like, well, have you tried that? Jim, I have no sound. I, I've already tried a bunch of stuff. And uh, Jim says, okay, well, uh, in his mellow way, I'll be over uh, shortly. And you got here about what time yesterday? Oh, it was probably about 11, 11.15. Oh, I think it was earlier than that. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it was like 10.15 or 10.30, if I remember right on my watch, but it could have been closer to that. All that I know is he worked on that thing from 10.30 to 2.30. And uh, I don't know that there's any – I think we tried about everything. Yeah, we, I mean, we did. We just uh, we traced every wire, every we every nook and cranny of the the PA system here to track it down. And um, you know, Scott stumbled across the <laughs> the main microphone over the PA system, and it worked, and it worked beautifully. And then it finally clicked to us that everything we've been checking was working properly. And so uh, after you know crossing up everything and Eliminating everything, it, it, a light bulb went on, and Scott turned the power on, and boom, it just started working. <laughs> so, and I'll tell you what, that is the honest truth. I was up in the ceiling, and all of a sudden, this light bulb went off my head, and I'm like, I know what the common denominator is. I was eliminating, pro eliminating everything I could think of. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know what it is. I got down off the ladder. I'm headed to the back room. I flip on the circuits, turn on the, I, I, as I walk by Jim, I said, I know what it is. I know what it is. And I'm heading in there, and how he knew I knew what it was, I don't know, but he said to Steve on the phone, yeah, Scott's got it figured out. And, and, and I don't know how he knew what I was thinking. We must be getting pretty close. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because I went back and flipped on the circuit breakers for the lights in the building. Flipped the microphone on, and on it came. We figured out that there's a box hidden somewhere in the ceiling that is connected to the light circuits somewhere. We don't know where it's at. we got to find it yet. But I'm going to tell you what. I lost about 10 pounds, which I needed to lose. But uh, I looked at Jim, and I grit my teeth, and I went, ah! <laughs> yes, yes, he did. It was... Uh, it, w it was nice to get it resolved, but it was a little bit frustrating also. So, <laughs> As they said, you wasted all your time here. I was here later than I wanted to be because I wanted to go home and rest for uh, the give to the max. And uh, it just turned out to be humorous because here we are sitting with a perfectly good working system. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. And, and then boom, yeah, had to flip the switch. So, so uh, you know, letting you guys know that we are trying hard and uh, we're trying to move the move it forward. You guys have been very patient with us in a number of areas, PTZ, uh, moving cameras around, and we can't thank you enough for that. But when we take a look in here and we look at the success of the touch screens and all the people out there that developed it with with uh, Jim, it was out in a uh, timely manner. I think we we met. Uh, did we not meet our deadline and everything, Judy? Let's ask Judy if she's got any questions to Jim. Well, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know that I have any questions, but um, you know, getting you know to the touch screens, yeah, we met our deadline. You know, the the goal was, you know, we're going to be up and running and and have it tested a little bit before opening, and we made that. And uh, you know, Jim worked with, um, well. He worked with us, and it was all volunteers that, that made that happen um, on our side. Uh, and uh, Boltz uh, did the, you know, did the work in, in putting it in. You worked with the design with us. Um, we were really patient with, you know, the design. What should it look like from the colors to the font, the size of font. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff before we even put one picture or one word 
of text in there. It was, well, how should it flow? And that, that was really a, an interesting thing about how should it flow? Um, meaning, how do people learn? And th yeah, there was a lot of discussions about that, you know. And um, you know, I, I I have to say I learned something too because, you know, how you put information in um, that program is um, well, it's interesting. So so uh, you know, if we have a phase two or phase three or when that happens, um, what do you think about that, Jim? What do you think? Uh, the lessons your your side has learned, I guess. I, I know we've learned some stuff. I would say we, we've learned how uh, the, the biologist putting together the information and, and, and working with Kathy, I think, I think I understand how you guys think a little bit better. So it'll make it much, much more smooth on the next go around, definitely. And, you know, you guys are very creative and with what you've done. So um, and I think I, I think the product turned out great. So, so with some tweaks going forward, it's just gonna. That's really what it's gonna be tweaks. So, yeah. that's nice to know. Sharon, what questions do you have for Jim? Um, Any stories you want to tell? How do you, how do you like working around the bears? Oh, that's a that's an interesting question. Um, you know, since they're behind the, the cages and they, they seem very friendly, it's it's very easy. I am not intimidated at all. But you know, we'll, as long as there's that fence line, I feel I feel pretty good. <laughs> well, um, when we put uh, Holly's camera, well, I shouldn't say we. Um, I was supposed to distract uh, Lucky and Holly. And um, didn't work so well with Holly, but uh, Scott had, you know, a paw coming through. Have you ever had that experience with um, uh, the bears mucking a little bit with the uh, uh, cameras? Um, no, no, I, I sure haven't. Um, I think Scott has warned me a few times. Uh, just don't, you know, the bears seem to be so used to to being fed when when they see a group of folks walk up the walk up the the hill there that. You know, Scott. Scott has warned. Yeah, just keep your hands hands away because they they might think it's an apple or something. So. <laughs> well, I, I don't have anything else, Scott. Well, I, I've got one. It don't uh, it it don't include Jim, but Jim, you can add to it. Uh, last year, if you guys remember, we had to put a den cam in Holly's den, and that would consist of a long tube. And being a, a total rookie. I decided that, you know what, uh, nobody was here, Sharon was gone, Judy was gone, um, Steve and I, and Steve is actually uh, Jim's uh, employee, and uh, he, I said, look, we're going we're gonna to go in there and we can do this, you and I, and I've watched people do this, and, and I think we can handle Holly, and he's like, well, you mean she's in there? And I'm like, well, yeah, she's in the den. Well, is is she caged in there? I said, Well, no, she's in a den that she dug. We're gonna we got this pipe here, and we need to connect some stuff to it and get it lined up. And you guys know what we're talking about. So anyway, uh, I'm trying to cut the story down. We're getting the pipe in there and connecting the stuff, and I'm leaning up on the pipe and trying to get it adjusted, and leaning real close to the den, and all of a sudden she did that blow, <sighs> really super loud, and I jump back and. It just so happens that Steve's back was turned to me, and in order for me not to fall down, fall down the cliff, I had to put my hand on his back. And all of a sudden, he turned around and he said a few interesting words, and looked at me, and he was petrified, and he took off running, blasting through trees, anywhere from an inch to two inches in diameter, and he's flying down this hill, and he turns around and he goes, What was that? What happened? And I, I looked at him, and I said, Jim, I mean, Steve, it's okay. And he's like, no, it's not okay. It is not okay. And I said, well, we're all done. And he's just sweating, petrified. He goes, what just happened there? And I said, Holly just blew. It's okay, really. He goes, oh, I'm out of here. I'm all done. I'm done. And we get out of the enclosure that we were in, the major enclosure. And we come out, and, and I lock up the gate. And I'm walking down the last time. I said, wow, I said, that was pretty pretty exhilarating. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? And he goes, looked at me, he goes, 
No, it wasn't. And he goes, and it ain't going to happen again. <laughs> As I walked out, I said, well, you know, I said, it's an experience you could talk about. He goes, I ain't telling nobody. <laughs> I said, I said, he did, he, he did it really? No. You never told no. nobody? No. <laughs> he, come, he comes with a, a little bit different twist of the story, but believe me, that guy had a path, and it was some fresh no, and I even took Heidi out there and said, look at that path. I said, I didn't make it. I said, it's at least 50 yards long. I said, that guy could have ran. He could have he won a race. He went so fast, and there wasn't a tree. If there would have been a four-inch tree, he would have been out cold. I'm telling you, it was just, just snow powder was flying. And uh, I asked him a couple days later when he come back to the thing, and first thing he says is, I'm not going in there. I said, no, we don't. Yeah, I'm not going in there. I'm like, we don't have to go in there. No, but no, 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 no. But I'm not going in there. I said, we don't have to go in there. Okay, just we understand each other. Could you hear him saying that? Yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. So, so you know, Jim, Jim, and and those guys bit off a little more than they probably imagined, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. Yep. Steve's Steve's got uh, a good, good, uh, good humor towards that. But uh, yeah, I would guess he was a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit scared, so <laughs> to put it put it mildly, but it's it was all good fun. It's yeah, it was, it was. so, so. And, and, and it was totally safe. But I did ask him later. I said, "What did you honestly think was happening?" He said, "Well, I thought she, I thought she shot out of the den on top of me." And I'm like, "What do you think happened to me?" And he goes, "I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't worried about you." He said. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, we, 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 it's really nice that he wasn't worried about me. <laughs> that was the one right up next to it. But I got to admit, when you're not used to that, and all of a sudden she did that blow, I, I jumped back like that, a little bit startled, but I, I knew what it was from training, education from you guys. You know, it's what it really was. And I knew that she wasn't going to do any more than slap a little bit and blow. And we were all fine. We were good. But the little turd uh, decided to rip the camera apart anyway after all that work, tore up the wire, tore everything up, and then Jim's like, oh, I think the camera's probably bad. And I said, oh, I, no, the camera looks okay. It's just duct tape that's tore up. Remember that? Yeah. We are using yeah. it, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. It's in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, anything more you'd like to add to the group out there? Well, I just, you know, that uh, I think what the Bear Center does here is, is fantastic. So, um, you know, I, I just say, yeah, contribute. It definitely help the cause here. Help these guys out. Uh, make make this place better going forward. So cool. Thank you so much, and thank you for taking the time in your busy day. I know your operation runs thin, uh, just like a lot do. And uh, thank you so much, Jim. Right. Bye now. Thanks. Right. Thanks. Huh? Thank you guys out there. And uh, we'll be back at what time, Judy? Five o'clock. Five o'clock, which gives we're getting kind of on the nose on this every time. We are. How many minutes is it? Uh, 38 minutes? 38, yes. 38. So we'll be back in 38. And I think we got another guest coming in, don't we? We do, maybe a couple. Whoa. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you.